My name's Caroline Till and I'm the guest curator of Our Time on Earth here at the Barbican, um, which was opened at the beginning of May and running till the 29th of August. So we wanted to approach you know, the topic with, I guess, almost a positive undertone coming at um, uh, you know, climate emergency with a sense of urgency, but also hopefully leaving a visitor with a sort of a sense of a constructive future. One of the artists that we've been working with, um, Rita O'Connorhan, uh, one of the duo from the photographic series Eyes As Big As Plates, I think she really nicely said, you know, if we can tell stories of the natural world and if we can, you know, get people to know more and understand about understand more about our living world then hopefully people can care more and then we can show that actually there's a hell of a lot that we need to save. Our Time on Earth is told, uh, sort of loosely told in three chapters. The chapters are called Belong, Imagine and Engage. So within Belong we wanted to uh, sort of open the exhibition with this sense of awe but also initially to invite people to connect to themselves. So the first thing when a visitor walks in is they hear an audio that's written by Andres Roberts, the founder of the Amazing Bioleadership Project. And the words uh, say breathe, and it's spoken by the rapper um, Speech to Bell. And it's basically trying to encourage people to take a breath. So you hear an inhale, a slow inhale and a slow exhale. And the words say uh, breathe, uh, just one breath shared by all living things. Um, and so it's trying to get you first to connect to yourself and remember that actually we are living beings and you know all living beings share this aspect of breath. Um, and then just to set you up to prepare you to have so hopefully it's like an open heart and an open mind as you walk through the exhibition. So Belong is really about establishing that we are completely interconnected. Um, the ambition of the exhibition is to sort of show that you know the human as a species has been dominating um, the planet over many other species and what we really need to start considering is that we are just a species among you know millions of others. Within the opening chapter Belong there's one piece of work which is a collaboration between Marshmallow Laser Feast and, and Andres Roberts, the founder of the Bioleadership Project and this piece is all about saying that um, we are completely interconnected with all living species, so it showcases a humongous tree, um, a, a large scale projection, which makes you sort of stop and stare in awe and look up. We wanted people to feel small initially as they entered the exhibition and to kind of have this sense of, you know, gazing in awe at the natural world. Um, and the piece is basically showing that um, the, the sort of biological systems that are going on within our human body and mirrored by what you know what's going on within a tree um, and showing that as a tree is um, intaking carbon dioxide and exhaling oxygen we are then breathing in that oxygen so there's this completely um, kind of this relationship of co collaboration and coexistence. Then the, the second chapter of our time on earth um, and which features the, the main body of works um, is imagine and within Imagine, it's a series of provocations um, which are all framed by the idea this is a world in which, or imagine a world in which. And here we're exploring multiple different disciplines, so um, from uh, looking at the fashion industry, looking at architecture, looking at um, lots of different approaches of basically working more in tune with the natural world. So rather than sort of uh, pillaging and harvesting in this process of extraction and expansion that we're you know, often perpetuating, looking at how we can sort of view our living system in a different way and work more in tune with it. Um, one of the key ideas that we wanted to establish within Imagine is this idea of being inherently interconnected to the natural world is, you know, it's something that our indigenous brothers and sisters are way ahead of us in. It's, uh, you know, it's fundamental to their sort of philosophy of living. Um, and, you know, things like while indigenous populations only take, make up 5% of the world's population, they are actually protecting about 80% of the world's biodiversity, particularly within, you know, the lungs of the planet like the rainforests. So we wanted to provide a platform particularly to really, you know, bring forward that indigenous philosophy 
is, you know, uh, way ahead of us in, in many aspects. So the final chapter of our time on Earth is called Engage and I guess after exploring kind of positive provocations of a potential future in which humans are flourishing alongside the natural world, we wanted to make sure that we're acknowledging that actually, you know, climate emergency is very real and it's impacting, uh, you know, global, global communities right now. So we kind of wanted to bring people back down to earth a bit. Um, and so we worked with an amazing collective called The Earth Issue that are made up of a variety of different creatives and um, all sort of environmental activists as well themselves. So we commissioned them to create um, a series of films called Stories of Change. Uh, so this features 10 global activists um, from all over the world that are sort of communicating how climate emergency has very real impacts right now on their local communities um, and sort of most importantly what they're doing to you know support their community so I, I guess simultaneously trying to communicate that you know there is very real implications and that is, that's not in the future that's now but also to give people a sense of kind of hope and um, inspiration that there are many people sort of already you know rising up to work and, and particularly that often the answer is about collective action. So the, I think one of the main aspects of our time on earth was to take an interdisciplinary approach and um, to really say that it's about combining different ideas and different disciplines together um, to approach you know this massive challenge and um, I think that's been one of the most exciting things is particularly the idea of bringing together leading global ecologists or uh, philosophers or you know that are, are developing groundbreaking research and theory but how can we actually bring that to life in a way that is tangible and becomes meaningful on an individual level for the visitor and that's often where you know the role of the artists or the digital agencies that we commissioned the partnerships came in so together you've got that combination of uh, in incredible kind of thinking and and um, expertise and research but with um, you know a, a creative studio that's able to sort of bring that to life in a more tangible way um, and I think one of the most invigorating things that we've seen is that these collaborations so for example between um, uh, digital agency DVTK and Henrietta Moore, Professor Henrietta Moore, the leader, um, the director of the Institute for Global Prosperity for example um, they created a gaming application and um, just watching that collaboration kind of grow has just been so inspiring and from this project they're already talking about sort of next projects so I think we see most of these works just as you know start just as the start of a conversation and um, by bringing these collaborations to life you know and bring them to fruition we you know, we can see that there'll be a mycelium effect, that there's this sort of network that continues to grow outwards.